Ladies and gentlemen, people of the world, guess what? I'm going to be in Omaha, Nebraska this weekend. Yeah. Yeah. You never see me promote a show this hard. This is what I get for having white women as fans because uh, I now have to compete with Taylor Swift because uh, I know you all spent your life savings to go to the bowl to see her with her new boyfriend. Um, I digress. Look, we have a very exciting guest today. A lot of you have been giving me a lot of criticism. You're saying, dude, you need to introduce the guests before you bring them on. And I would agree. I think you're probably right. So people, make some noise for Josh Weissman. <laughs> Wow. Right. Wow. Yes. Good to see you. Good to see you. I'm finally here. Yeah. Wow. I'm nervous. That's what money does to you. <laughs> <laughs> no, you just walked right past it. Yeah. What? 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 Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. How How long has that been sitting there? Um, Maybe a few minutes. Are you sure? Really? Yeah, yeah. Actually, okay. a few minutes. Oh, okay. Great. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. A little taco bar? Yeah. Okay. What's what's going well, on? Well, you there? know, I mean, you're always cooking for other people, so we thought someone might cook for you today. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's concerning. Yeah. That is, it is? deeply concerning. You know yeah. what? You're right. Sergio, why don't you pop out? And Josh, why don't you go ahead and get up, get back there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why don't you go ahead? I'm cooking right yeah, now. Yeah, actually go ahead. Yeah. Why don't you go and fire up? Sergio, why don't you have a seat, man? <laughs> oh shit, there's a dude right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Sergio, do you know this guy? You don't? No. no. <laughs> wow. Your mom's calling? Um, all right. What's going on? Do you on? know how to work one of these? It's a flat top, so probably. <laughs> you got a whole flat top back here? Well, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Why don't you whip something up? All right, what do we got? What do we got? Uh, the tortillas are right there. Okay, tortillas are where? On your, on your left side right there? This is awesome. I love this. T yeah, tell him everything to do. By, by the all right, we got, everything's already cooked, bro. Sir, yeah, Sergio's every, got me hooked up. I don't even need to do anything. Yeah, pretty much all you got to cook is just the tortillas there. So. Oh, easy. Okay, yeah. boom. Tortillas, yeah. You know how to cook tortillas? They're already cooked. They just You're the here. cook. You cook the tortilla. <laughs> all right, I'm doing it. Yeah. Jesus Christ, like back to right. my restaurant days. Okay, take us through it. All right. What are you doing right now? I don't know now? what the fuck I'm making right now. Okay, we're reheating tortillas. Uh, it, it's a pretty simple process, Noel, okay? You put it on a hot flat top. You put it in a hot pan. Boring! Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> why, don't you, why don't you make something for Sergio? I got you, Sergio. What do you like? Uh, I like a pastor. A pastor? Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Where is that? No? Uh, yeah. No, yeah, no, there no. it is. Okay. Cool. <laughs> done. No, don't help him. Let him figure it out. Right, yeah. Right. <laughs> Let's see how much he cooks or if he's just white. No, this is easy. This, is easy. <laughs> this flat top isn't even hot enough, man. Come on. <laughs> Fuck me up. What do you want on it? You want, you want a little, uh, little cheese? You want some veg? Just straight al pastor? You have uh, uh, onion and cilantro over there, I see it? Yeah, I have everything else here. Perfect. So Boom, just done. Put your pastor is just fine. <laughs> this is easy shit. <laughs> I like seeing Josh Fuck go in chef you. mode. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know what's funny? You, you don't usually talk that much when you're cooking, right, Sergio? Yeah, you yeah know what's up. no. Yeah. I, if you want, I can just go shove it. <laughs> wow, this is going to be a really good podcast. <laughs> I don't even have a fucking hairnet on or anything. I can just <laughs> sneeze on all of this. You know, I, I used to wear a hairnet. Yeah? Yeah, with all this, dude. Yeah, that makes sense. It's not, it's not an easy time. I thought you were saying you just wear it because. <laughs> yeah, in the bedroom, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> in the bedroom. Noel wow. doesn't even know what to say right now because I'm cooking, so he's just kind of like, what the fuck do I do with this? No, I'm just wondering. Can you guys gonna... even hear? Oh, I have a mic. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. 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 <laughs> I was yeah. like, I'm like talking, and there's just like. <laughs> Which would be pretty awesome. You know what, editor? Cut his mic. <laughs> <laughs> Ate my ass yesterday. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Put the audio back in. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be funny if it was just like blank or it was just like ate my ass yeah, yesterday. <laughs> Who was it? Yeah. Hmm? Who yeah, was it? That's a good question. It was me. <laughs> <laughs> I spit in it. Oh my God. <laughs> I even touched it a little bit. You know bit. what Noel said to me before I came on here? Uh, yesterday, he, he's like, dude, I'm so stoked to have you on the podcast. Thank you for coming out. I promise I'm not going to hurt your brand. I won't. I won't. Josh is a big deal, man. He's been on TV. <laughs> You know, he's done, he's done a lot with his career. Um, but I love that Sergio doesn't know him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, man. <laughs> yeah, what the hell, Sergio? <laughs> Fuck, dude, you're fucking me up over here. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. We got, put a little, little onion, a little cilantro on here. All right, keep it tradish. Yes, sir. 
Not so too how crazy. often does this happen? Do you get to pull up with the business, but then someone cooks for you? How often does this happen? Never. Never. First yeah. time. <laughs> First time. Let's go. <laughs> love it. I love it. Unless you're drunk enough, then. Yeah. 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 Sergio, you want sausage? <laughs> you just want it straight up, bro. Uh, no, I'm good like that. Yeah? yeah? All right, here you go, Sergio. I got you. Right, I got man. you. Sure. Done. Thank it's you. done. All right. We could switch back. You could just chill. Yeah. <sighs> Thank you, Sergio. Appreciate you, bro. You made, you made it sound like there's something wrong with the grill. No, it's fine. It's, it's working fine. great. That's yeah. good? Okay. Yeah, I was worried it wasn't hot for a second, but it's hot. Okay. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah, she's hot. She's, she's working. Let me put my hand on there. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if it's really working. All right, dude. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. What's up, guys? This is the TMT Podcast. This is today's free episode. If you want this episode ad-free and an extra bonus episode, you can find that right now on our website, Mystery of the flying stalkers may soon be solved. If you've never smoked weed at literal Woodstock, you're not a stoner. Goodbye. The Army Air Forces has announced that a flying disc has been found and is now in the possession of the Army. Ah, oh, gay as fuck. So called flying stuff. Look at all these fucking chickens! Malone Brown? Did you hear this whole? No. Malone Brown dick in your mouth? <laughs> no! 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 Please look at all the signs. Fashion your seatbelt and get ready for the base. This is awesome. Do you do podcasts? You know, I do them from time to time. It's, it's like, uh,. uh I hardly find myself in the uh, area. So famous. Why would I? <laughs> <laughs> no, I like I like doing podcasts. I just I don't know. I they don't invite me on, bro. Oh well, you're always welcome here. Oh sweet. Oh, oh thank let's you. Let's go. Thank you. Wow. <sighs> Is this for me? Uh yes, please. Yeah, about five minutes ago, Noel yelled at her because he she didn't bring uh, him his coffee. So. <laughs> Yeah, that's I why my just, voice hurts because yeah. my voice is so loud. Yeah, that's why he put me to work immediately because he was like, "Oh, let me shift the focus away yeah, from you yeah. really quick." Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> that was good. Yeah, good move, dude. Um, so, what's the last podcast you did? What was the last podcast I did? Man, it was a while ago. I'm gonna say, oh, I did. Um, I did a food podcast with Matt Rodbird. Mm, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to double check that name because yeah. I'm not 100 percent sure that's right. Yeah. So you don't even know the person. I to, no, I just need. I need to double check. I'm bad with names. Okay, his name is Matt. His name is Matt. He's a beast. It's a good. It's good. Uh, here's my impression of Josh right here. Ready? Fuck. He's gonna be like Matt Robert. Oh, this is Matt tasty. Damon. This Sorry, is Matt. It was Matt Damon's podcast. <laughs> Whoops. It's uh, this is taste. It was really good. It's okay. like a food podcast. Got it. He has like a bunch of legendary people on there too, like legendary chefs and like. Don't try to shows. big yourself up now. I'm just saying, you know. He had Jamie Oliver on there yeah, recently, yeah. you know. No big deal. You want me to help you pick that name up? Yeah. <laughs> me and Alina are going on a trip, and I know you. So I'm looking to rent a car, and I know you have a lot of experience renting exotic cars. <laughs> <laughs> You're very accustomed to driving yeah. rentals. The first thing Noel did when he touched down in Austin was, how do I get my hands on a GT3 immediately so I can rent it and look rich <laughs> right now? That's what I did because I was trying to compete. Yeah. With such a successful guy. And then he almost, and then he almost, uh, we were driving, there's a special road in Austin. Mm -hmm. Well, special in the sense of like a known road yeah. uh, where a lot of people like to drive cars, ride motorcycles. It's like kind of, it's almost like a track in a way, right? Immediately he almost loses control. Immediately. For fun. With someone he doesn't know in the or he just met in the for car. fun, all right. There was a Camaro. He was chasing me. He was getting spicy. I'm like, okay, follow me through this corner. Yeah, and then he almost killed himself. No, the 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 rear stepped out a little bit. It was fine. Yeah, it was fun. He came out of the car and he was teary eyed and he's like, yeah, I lost the rear a little bit for a second. And then jo and Josh was like, these are rentals, so you know, <laughs> that's why you got to be careful. He was driving a very nice car as well, and he was like, dude, we got to be careful because these are rentals. <laughs> These are rentals. We have to return them. Yeah. At the yeah. End. And, they, and they're expensive too. Yeah. The they rent, are. Just the rental cost. Yeah. You know, imagine the money you'd be wasting. I mean, dude, you're renting so often. That's it's all I do. <laughs> every day. <laughs> it's somehow I rent the same car every single time. Every I can't day, believe it. Hey, guys, we want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, FitBod. Let me talk about one of my workout essentials. 
no clothes. Just kidding. Uh, I love wearing headphones, and I definitely have a favorite water bottle. Regardless, the essential your workout really needs is FitBod. It's a fitness app that creates completely personalized workouts that adapt as you improve. Whether you are a seasoned gym goer or just starting your fitness journey, FitBod will push you to make progress. It's like having your own personal trainer, but better because it's cheaper. And you can work out anywhere with or without equipment, and it's easy to build a custom fitness plan that works for you. Using FitBod is very easy. Uh, For me, the way I like to stay in shape is I actually just go into the app and I set a workout program to run for 23 hours straight. And I find that keeps me metabolized and it keeps my caloric intake down. Um, It's great. FitBot is extremely personalized and adapts with you as you get stronger, which is awesome. You know, I didn't just start running 23 hours. I had to build up to that, you know, and and FitBot can help you get there. The app mixes up the workouts, the new exercises, rep schemes, supersets, circuits, so you never get bored. Plus, it tracks muscle recovery to reduce burnout and increase gains. I definitely learned some new workout moves using FitBod, watching some of their hot, sexy demonstration videos. Uh, Plus, it's just so handy to use when I'm traveling, uh, which is a lot these days. You can see me on tour, noellamillerlive.com. Whether you've been missing the gym time or hit a plateau, FitBod has a personalized program for you. Add FitBod to your workout essentials. Join FitBod today to get your personalized workout plan. Get 25% off your subscription or try the app free at fitbod.me slash TMG. That's F-I-T-B-O-D dot M-E slash TMG. By the way, guys, just a little fun fact about Josh. Um, if you see him in public, follow him to the bathroom. He loves that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I love that story that you told with Cody. Yeah. Where we're getting yeah. ice cream. <laughs> Dude, that was crazy. <laughs> I felt like I was in like middle school all over again. Yeah. Thanks we, to Noel, of course. If we could recap, actually, it's thanks to yeah. Alina. Oh, you're right. Yeah, because it was Alina. Because she, no. she was the one egging you on. Yeah. No, but you were, who was the one that asked? No, no, no. So we, so we go to an ice cream place, just to re- recap. Yeah, yeah. And um, we go to this ice cream place, and Josh is like, I have to take a shit So to the group. So then as we're coming around the line, it's packed in there. I have to, I have to give a little bit of context. The layout of this place yeah, yeah, is yeah. really unusual, right? Mm-hmm. Because typically you'd, see, you'd go in, and it's like bathroom to the right or the left. But they built it in a way that you have to go 75% of the way through the line <laughs> to earn the access to the fucking bathroom door. Okay, so yeah. like you literally, yeah. and there was a line. Yeah, so it's anyway, feeling like yeah. Disneyland, and we're waiting, and Josh is sitting there going like, I don't think I can hold it. <laughs> and then when we get to the door, Alina very loudly goes, "Hey, Josh, the bathroom's available." <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, it was her that did yeah. that. That was crazy. Yeah, and then you were like, "Oh my fucking god, I hate you." So then you go in, and then as soon as you go in, no, you missed a part. What, what part? Remember when I, I I'm like I'm like on the edge, and so I go up to the door, and it's like. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh yeah, yeah. and it's so loud. Like, yeah. what the fuck? Some nut is loose yeah. on it or some shit. Yeah. So now and the whole I, now the whole ice cream place knows Josh has to take a shit, and then and then I have to go. What's the code? Yeah. What's the code? <laughs> and this whole line of people, and I'm like, and I'm like, sorry, excuse us, and I'm like, what's the code <laughs> to the shitter? So then Josh goes in, and then as Josh is in there, me and our good buddy Sam thought it'd be really funny if we just start banging on the door. <laughs> pretending to be strangers while josh is taking a dump meanwhile there's like there everybody has gotten their ice cream and left except there's one person that's behind them and it is a father and his like six-year-old son yeah just watching us do this yeah it was really immature but god damn it it, if it wasn't funny it was good i was crying laughing but yeah so if you see josh in public follow him to the bathroom he likes that i love that yeah he likes someone looking over the stall just to make sure he's hitting the stream right um do your your um no your you're here in space. Wow. You're a good podcast. Space. <laughs> in space. I've been doing this Whoa, all the time. It's so real. Thank you, dude. I yeah. actually do love this set. You guys killed it. Thank it you. Is, it well, is it like, is a whole ship. It's not a set. Yeah, sorry. I love this whole ship that you yeah. bought with yeah. your incredible vast amount of money. It <laughs> yeah. is so limitless. You, you see how he makes fun of our ship. income because he's got so much income? <laughs> He has so much money that he laughs at other people's money. That's when you know you've made it. (laughs) I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm jealous of your success. I want to be you. 
<laughs> you can always be in my bed with me. You know, that's your bed. Yeah, yeah. Or I'm sure Kate would love that. In the in the in the 100 Supima cotton sheets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what Supima? that is? Oh, is this you setting me up? No, no. Okay, no. Explain Supima. It's just a luxury cotton. Got it. Yeah, I was just trying to be stupid. Right. Yeah, that's gonna. That's I'm gonna regret doing that. All right. <laughs> cool. I don't even. I don't even know if our sheets are that. Okay. My friend's starting a bed sheet company. Yeah. Uh, Things m- most people never say. Yeah, <laughs> my well, friend is starting oh, fuck. a bed I wish I could company. say, I came with this great idea, I can't say it, because he, he might do it, but okay. it's, it, I'll tell you in private, it's okay. good, yeah. All right. yeah. But Supima Cotton, that's supposedly the best of the best. Got it. Well, you, you would know. Yeah, no. I would know, since all of my sheets in my entire house, no matter where they are, Supima Cotton, 100%. Supima Cotton, what is Supima? Egypt. <laughs> Supima Cotton. Is Supima Cotton better than Egyptian Cotton? Double the strength of regular cotton. Supima cotton makes sheets that better retain their shape and illustriousness and last for years to come. Oh, <laughs> nice choice of words. <laughs> Organic Supima cotton grown in the USA is sustainable and environmentally and an environmentally friendly product. See? Okay, dude. Yeah. Good for the earth, too. Yeah. Well, that's what it takes to save the earth. You got to buy the right products. Yeah, and spend a ton of money on it too. Yeah. It should be. It should basically be commercially unavailable for ninety five percent of the population. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That'd be good if all green products were only for the one percent. Yeah, they are. Then they're doing good things with their money. Yeah, they are. <clears throat> Anyways, dude, I'm giving you shit, but you're on a tear, man. I, I was thinking about it. Do you like how often do you reflect on you five years ago to now, or do you just not think about it? Just do you just keep going? Oh man. I mean, where, what where were you five years ago in life? Uh, five years ago, five years ago, I was in front of a, a stove line cooking. I don't know. I mean, it's funny. Like, I just feel like I don't, I don't, I should probably reflect more. Yeah. You know, I feel like most people, probably most people don't reflect enough. Yeah. I don't know if you do. I mean. I do it too much. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. Maybe I, maybe I could learn something from you because I feel like, no, I mean, really, I, 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 Maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah. Nah. You don't want to do it too much. <laughs> yeah. So you don't. You don't think about it often. It's just I'm so focused on constantly like what's the next thing and going forward yeah. that I f- sometimes forget to look back. But that being said, though, I do spend a lot of time with my friends that you know work in restaurants. It's not like I abandon all the people that I work mm-hmm. with. You know, I'm I'm friends with a lot of the people that I worked with, and uh, actually one of the guys that line cooked next to me. Uh, works for me now, which is really cool. And That's so cool. it's a cool working relationship. But, you know, I, I reflect on it from time to time and uh, it, I definitely, you know, I'm grateful. Yeah. you were, Where were you line cooking five years ago? I think I was at Uchiko in Austin. I took you there. Yes, you you had a great meal. That was fun. Well, we all had a great meal. It was awesome. I love Uchiko. I shout them out all probably too much, to be honest, at this yeah. point. Um, but uh, they're amazing. And uh, it's like one of the best restaurant groups I've ever worked with. It's funny because like a lot of people say, oh, you must feel, you know, um, so great now that, you know, you don't have to do that every day. And and don't get me wrong. I'm would much rather be where I am now. But at the same token, like I look back really fondly working there. Yeah. I mean, great people. People have no idea the type of personalities, the passion that people have working in these restaurants, despite, you know, getting your ass kicked 24 seven, you're getting your ass kicked with like your homies, like your yeah. friends. And you're all kind of going through the shit together. Oh, and like so, the bear. Jesus Christ. Dude, just like the bear, just like bro. The bear. Yes. Yeah. 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 And then when the tickets come out, you just start screaming. Yeah. There's no way, no reason in any service you should ever feel comfortable. You should just constantly be angry. Yeah. 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 I got five orders of pork belly. Fuck. 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 Instead of putting them on the grill, you should lose your shit. Yeah. Yeah. That's healthy. So you're working at Uchiko in Austin, which is a Japanese restaurant, right. sushi restaurant. Just for context for the people who are like, what the fuck is Uchiko? You know, um, he's trying to figure it out while he's looking at a giant blown up no, logo no, no. on the screen. When I so the last time we last time we ate there when I was I was there for the uh, Austin race, um, Formula One Austin race. We took an Uber from here to our hotel, and the cult that is formed around Rogan is incredible with middle aged yeah. Uber drivers. Because we oh. left, and the guy goes, yeah, Joe loves that place. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, you know him? <laughs> He's like, yeah, Joe says that place is awesome. <laughs> He's like, yeah, of course I know him. I listen yeah. to him every day, <laughs> you asshole. Yeah. Joe 
loves this place. Okay, anyway, so you're a line cook here. You were explaining to me what was the dish where you said I've probably cut like a thousand or twenty thousand pounds oh, of this meat. It wasn't meat. It was uh uh God. I mean, so many things. Probably Brussels sprouts. Yeah. 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 I know that sounds so dumb. If you ever go to a restaurant that's high volume and they have Brussels sprouts, just know that some motherfucker back there is cutting 500 pounds of that a day. (laughs) A day. Yeah. But quick zoom out though. Yeah, yeah. So like a lot of the time people think about the things that they do day to day and maybe like, I don't know, I don't know if people are assessing their own efficiency and going, oh, I wonder if I could do a little more of this or spend a little more time on this project. Maybe it'll be better. In restaurants like this, what you're doing is like, we had, we, we used to have a big whiteboard and who had the fastest time to cut Brussels sprouts? Wow. <laughs> that was like, you're doing time attack on Brussels sprouts. Yeah. Because That's there were insane. so many. It's like, how many, how long does it take for you to get through to a 50 pound box? Or, uh, I don't remember if the boxes were 50 or, Jesus, it has been a while. I think the boxes were 50 pounds each. Yeah. Um, and how long did it take for you to go through them? Damn. So you're there five years ago. You're cutting Brussels sprouts. Are you making any kind of media at that point? I started making it after, like, once I was entering, like, my third year working there, mm. which was five years ago. <clears throat> I'm really bad with time. Some, something around that. Roughly. Roughly. Roughly then. Yeah. And I started making content there. Not in the restaurant, but yeah, while I was yeah. working there. So basically every waking hour I wasn't at the restaurant, I was making content. And you know how that goes. Like yeah. you're doing everything yourself. Yeah. You're like you you basically just do whatever feels good to you. You don't know yeah. what the fuck you're doing. You're just doing shit. Yeah. And so that's, yeah, that's what I was doing. Do you, I'm sure you remember like the first one that like kind of popped for you? Yeah. There were a few, but yeah. I think the one that like really struck me was probably like, my butt better series, the Popeye's chicken sandwich. Uh, you want to know what sparked that was <laughs> look, probably not distant en- enough from it, but the simple reality is the second I saw in an article that somebody was stabbed over the Popeye's, a, chicken, the Popeye's sandwich. chicken sandwich. I was like, this sandwich is not fucking worth it. There's no goddamn way. Yeah. This is worth that. And so I went, tried it and I was like, this is fucked. I could make this, anyone could make this at home 10 times better. I see. And so that kicked it off. I I did it basically out of anger, made that video. And then it popped off and I was like, this could be a series. <laughs> you did it out of spite. I did it literally out of spite. That's good. Yeah. we have, Actually, it's funny enough. We're up. We're uploading a, a video today on short form that is me making chicken sandwich. And at the very end, I say, fuck you, Popeyes. Oh, wow. Hey, everybody, we want to take a quick break to thank another sponsor of today's episode, DraftKings. DraftKings, the leader in fantasy sports. They just dropped a brand new fantasy app, Pick 6. Pick 6 is the newest way for you to get in on the fantasy football action with DraftKings. Just pick between two and six NFL players and choose if they're going to have more or less of a stat. For example, will a player have more or less than 100 rushing yards, or will a player have more than one touchdown? Track your lineup and compete against others for a shot at huge cash prizes. Download the DraftKings Pick 6 app now and sign up with the code TMG. That's code TMG. Only on DraftKings Pick 6. The crown is yours. Now for the fun part. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. 18 plus in most eligible states, but age varies by jurisdiction. Eligibility restrictions apply. Valid only in states where DraftKings Pick 6 operates. Pick 6 not available in all states, including but not limited to Connecticut and New York. For up-to-date list of states, please visit dkng.co slash pick 6 states. Void where prohibited. See terms at pick6.draftkings.com. So, all right. Yeah. So this, so this is it. Throwback. Four years ago. And this is you in your apartment. Yeah. Filmed and it by myself, edited by me. <clears throat> and... You, I remember you showing me photos of like your setup back then. You know, it's just like kind of a just humble tripod, and uh, yeah, you had like some like Chinese softbox. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just four fourteen dollars softbox, and you were just going at it it's so bad. <clears throat> no, but you kind of had the yeah. You could see the softbox and all the reflection. <laughs> <laughs> And I like left all the shit in the backdrop. Yeah, dude. I could have put it somewhere else. Look how is it? Oh, you paused it. Okay. I thought it was still playing. I was like, how long did I stay on this fucking frame? <laughs> Your editing style is, you know, is, is very re- reasonable to expect. Damn, this is so good. You can see the softbox on the top of the buns. <laughs> it was clipping so hard. Look at you. Look. At- <laughs> I, I, I thought that shot was so good. And then a black screen. Nothing yeah. better than that. Yeah. Didn't have any footage for that, folks. Yeah. 
Who do, you know, I love the I love the dramatic cut to black screen. Basically, it says, I didn't have footage for this. Yeah, this is act one <laughs> of chicken. All right, this is you just... I'm talking about leaving the fat on because it makes juicier chicken. People cut the fat off a lot of the time. Yeah. But when you bite into a, a piece of chicken that's got a little bit of the fat on there, dude. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. I kind of want to bring that up in a second. We're going to keep laughing at this for a moment, though. Oh, just I want to force you to reflect. Yeah. You when, like that I'm using restaurant equipment in this, too. I stole that, by the way. Did you actually? Yeah, I stole that. From Uchiko? I can't say. <laughs> <laughs> you stole it from somewhere. I st- hey, you know. All right, so hold it's up. It's a donation, man. Listen, Line Cook's paid like $11 an hour, right? Did you steal it just to cook at home, or did you steal it knowing it would look good for the content? Both. Uh, well, some of the stuff in there was stolen years ago. Got it. Yeah. Did you finish doing coke just a second ago? You're sniffling a lot. Yeah, no, no. I have COVID. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's not real. It was all made up. It's so funny when you say that because I've, I've had so many actual scenarios of being in a room with someone that's like, yeah, I have COVID, but it's yeah. fine. Yeah. People actually do that. Yeah. Yeah, no, they do. All right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm stirring it. This Look at that. Your, Look at so that you're technique, doing this dude. on stolen restaurant equipment. Yep. Except okay. for the bowl. The bowl's not stolen. So you're you're a thief. Let's get that right. God, this editing is so slow. It's crazy how different YouTube has changed. Yeah. In terms of retention. Mm-hmm. I can barely watch this. My fucking ADD short form short wired brain can barely fucking handle this shit. <laughs> I just see this is me. I love it. I'm like thinking, what's going through his mind? How does he feel slamming this uh piece of chicken into asbestos? <laughs> All right, so you know, and while you're making this, are you even thinking this could be popular or you're just making it to find out? I think I think I felt like it was a good idea, but I didn't know how big of a deal people would feel about it. I was like, ah, people have made cop. They're called copycat recipes. I was yeah, like, yeah. people have made copycat recipes. It's not like I'm the first person to ever do you try to make something from a restaurant. Right? right. Do you remember how many views this did in like the first day? I don't. Yeah. I, I don't. Uh, what I do Was remember, it instant? Did you just post it and it just blew up or did it take time? I remember it performing surprisingly well and I was like, oh, this is doing pretty good. And then like outlets started posting about it, like oh. media outlets. I, I can't remember which was the first one that did it. It was like the day of. It they're was all posted, bankrupt right? now. So Yeah. They're yeah. probably not even around anymore. So whatever. <laughs> fucking Sports Illustrated. Bloomberg, whatever the fuck it yeah. is. Yeah. They're yeah. all the same anyway. They're all owned by one person. So yeah. They just, you know, whenever they, whenever they had enough, that, that one like billionaire just kind of goes... Uh, yeah. all your jobs don't matter yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry right. you're getting coverage and you're popping now yeah and, yeah and then you just went back into work and you're like i got a cool youtube video yeah oh when this when this was live at that mm. time yeah that was a, i mean a bunch of people were telling me that they had seen it and i was like oh it's doing pretty well and then i just went back to work yeah. and i worked for a while after this i could have left the restaurant for probably four or five months mm-hmm. but i had a hard time leaving because i was so like emotionally attached to it interesting yeah um just being around the people and cooking and that environment yeah it's like you know you're leaving you kind of are taught this like weird intense level of like humble behavior yeah like you should be humble you should be only focused on like the most granular of minutia like how you cut a fucking onion is everything you are nothing Mm -hmm. else and so leaving kind of felt like am i giving up on this am i am i am i giving up yeah and so for me i was like the only way i'm leaving is if i get back in restaurants later okay and so uh yeah it took a while i like when i <laughs> i tried to quit three times <laughs> i would go up to my boss uh, uh shout out to lance chef lance he he's still there um he's like a corporate chef now he's killing it but anyway so i go up to him and i'm like hey i want to talk to you blah blah, blah. and he is already like uh oh and i sit him down and i'm like getting nervous i'm like fuck i can't do it and so i just go yeah so i want to work on this special and he's like okay fucking go work on it and then fuck out of here and so, <laughs> tried that two times and then finally i did it i fucking cried when i did it really yeah have you ever talked about that no oh. no yeah so you so was it emotional for him as well no no he didn't care <laughs> no. no he did not care i think he was like shocked to see it because I was like starting to get it up and up in, in there and I, I could have like maybe picked a path. I talked to 
the uh, president of culinary there. I was like, could have been my path to be doing like chef de cuisine, like CDC work and working towards a corporate chef role at some point. And I could have fought for that, but um, I knew that if I went deeper, it would be even harder to leave. Yeah. So saying goodbye was also saying goodbye to you know all my friends yeah, basically in a way because they're all too busy. You're fucking working six days a week, seven days a week. I'm not yeah. gonna see them. Yeah. You know, I barely barely see them uh, these days when they're bear, off. barely like the bear, like the bear. <laughs> That's right, dude. <laughs> Sorry, we all have to. <laughs> no, I I think uh, damn, I'm I'm just caught up in you being emotional because I yeah you don't I don't I can't see you that way. Yeah, I don't really you know. I don't know why I was, it was an emotional moment. I was like crying when I was trying to tell him. And I think he thought there was something wrong with me. He was like, was like, what the fuck? <laughs> What'd you like? Fuck. Did you like do make a bad decision last night? You fucking do, do heroin or something. Yeah. Cause they're so used to fucking people doing fucking heroin. Yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> can you talk about that? You've explained to me that the culinary world can be kind of evil. Dude, yeah. <laughs> I mean, look, it depends on where you go, but yeah. everybody knows this, right? Addiction's a big thing in restaurants because you're underpaid, but you love what you do, so you can't say no. You don't know where to go, so people turn to other things like drugs and alcohol. Like it's very com- It's not. It's not abnormal. Every night you do your service, you 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 leave maybe midnight or one in the morning, and you go to the bar until three in the morning, and yeah. then you go to the bed. And then now, you- who brings the cocaine? Is it the actors mm. as waitstaff? You know, like in LA, like you have like the actors doing weight stuff and they're like, I got Coke from my acting Usually it's teacher. a big money pool, dude. They all put it in together. Like, all right, we're going to get this much Coke. Actually? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I've never done Coke, by the way. Yeah. Let's be very clear. Josh really, doesn't do it. I really haven't. I didn't even, I didn't even drink when I was oh, let me, Yeah. Let me, let me corroborate that. Josh does not need cocaine. This guy <laughs> is fired up. Trust me. You have a fucking disgusting sleep schedule. Yeah. It's pretty fucked up. Yeah. Are you willing to tell the people how little you sleep? I mean, I sleep. What define sleep? Yeah, tell I us what. To, tell everyone. I sleep. I sleep. What time do you go to bed usually? Okay, listen. I should go to bed by like nine or ten. You, that's not what I said. I said when, like eleven thirty, and then I get up at four thirty or five. It's fine. I don't think so, dude. We hung out for a weekend, and you were up till two every night, and you were texting me at four thirty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So don't lie to us all being like, I sleep five hours. You sleep two hours max. You know, it's funny. I feel better off five or six hours of sleep. You know, yeah. two two is on the edge. Yeah. Oh, now it's on the edge. Your yeah. age is finally catching up to you. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> my age is, ca- dude, the other day I started running. Now my fucking leg is hurting. When I, did you, I was, you didn't see me. I limped in here. Okay. Nobody helped me, by the way. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. Kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. This is, that's how Josh actually talks, by the way. You should have seen him when we went to Uchiko. He walked in there. He's like, Lance, good to see you, pussy. Go ahead and um, <laughs> go ahead and whip me up something nice and make it taste better than everyone else's dishes. And if you fuck up, I'll let you know. That's what he said. <laughs> so you limped in here because your body hurts now because you need to actually sleep five or six hours the sleep that de- i feel like the sleep doesn't help but then again i never get eight hours so i, I can't really you should sleep. try that one time. yeah you're gonna have to how old are you now i think i'm 28 now yeah yeah this I'm is getting there this is the end of sleeping two hours i'm getting there yeah yeah sometimes i wake up and i'm like why does oh this I is so funny see. you becoming 30 is the funniest thing ever <laughs> This is going to be like when Superman bleeds, like, you know, like <laughs> I'm going to wake up one day and I'm going to look down and be like, I can't move my legs. Yeah. yeah. Something's going to just turn off for a couple hours. No, what's going to happen to you is you're going to be up at 2.30 and you're like, why can't I think anymore? What is happening? <laughs> yeah. It's just going to be a soft, slow, like your powers just escape you. Yeah. What's your worst thing that you have to face? When it comes to sleep and waking up, do you have do you have like problems? Do you like wake up and your oh, fucking I got feet a wife, don't work. I got a dog, you know. I got responsibilities. No, <laughs> no. The worst thing I face when I go to bed, I don't know. I just most nights I can't get through the sleep. Yeah, it's the crying for hours and hours. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I just wake up a lot. Really? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Hey, everybody, we want to take another break to thank another sponsor of today's episode, Seat Geek. I've been looking to find the best deal on tickets to uh, my own show and Monster Jam. 
Uh, with over 28 million downloads, SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app. There are more than 70,000 events every single day on SeatGeek, including concerts, sports, festivals, and more. Let me talk about a live event that I've attended and I'm excited to attend in the future. Um, both are my own show. No, really. Um, Monster Jam is back in full effect. I went last year, and I'm definitely going again this year. Very stoked for that. Oh, is this a phone with SeatGeek on it ready for me to buy Monster Jam tickets? Oh, weird. Would you look at that? That's me in Brea. How about that? Uh, but yeah, as you can see, plenty to do here. Broadway, you can just skip right past that section. You got UFC, Nuggets at Lakers. Oh, Inter Miami CF at LA Galaxy. Oh, how about that? Soccer's on the up. Josh wouldn't know. He's He doesn't watch it. They put all the tickets across the web in one place to make sure you are getting a good deal. Each ticket is rated on a scale of 1 to 10. So look for the green dots. Green means good. Red means bad. Every ticket is backed by their buyer guarantee. And SeatGeek is the only site that lets you return your tickets ahead of the event with swaps. And you know we had to come through for you guys. Use our code TMG for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with the promo code TMG. Make sure you click the link in the description to download the app. He gets sick every time he travels. That oh. too. How do you tour? I That's just fucked. do it, man. Go up there See? and I'm like... See? You're doing it too? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's over here like, you don't sleep. And then he goes back home. Doesn't fucking sleep. Yeah, I mean, I... I don't sleep as little as you sleep. I was impressed. We we were all hanging out and we talked till two thirty in the morning about like yeah, some like bullshit deep topics. And then uh, Josh is up at six thirty at the gym texting me, being like, "Let me know when you're ready." And then you had a four shot espresso for breakfast. Yeah. Oh yeah, the one that I spilled on myself. Oh, that's do you remember right. that? Yes, I do. Yeah. We all finally got together. I'd been I I like because by the way, he says we all finally because he's been up since three thirty in the morning, <laughs> and we meet at seven thirty, and he's like, I just been around. Yeah. You know? I'm like trying to find work to do. Yeah. I'm just fucking waiting on them. Yeah. Him and Sam are like, oh, we're showering. I'm like, Jesus, <laughs> you're just now showering. I showered like six and a half hours ago. Yeah. Yeah. At four thirty. Yeah. Easily. So then we, we go. We go to was proud mary mm -hmm. this is like a, okay super open concept restaurants so you're we're like in the middle of the whole dining room everyone can see us <laughs> and i forget what exactly happened that led to this well you were you were hangry was i hangry you were hangry and you're like i just need my espresso i just need my coffee <laughs> And you really needed this coffee. Because I held it because I held off for you. Yes, guys. you did. Yes, yeah. you did. I have this weird thing. Do you ever I don't know if you ever do this. So yell at people? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. The second you walked in here, where the fuck's my burrito? Yeah, that's exactly what I did. <laughs> I'm 30 minutes late. Where the fuck is my burrito? Yeah, J I mean jo Josh, you know, Josh is here, so I didn't do it with a gun. But like normally, <laughs> normally I like to wave a pistol in the air. Or I'm like, where the fuck is my food? Yeah, this time he just had a taser and he was just, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just to yeah. kind of like get in your head. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> fuck. I forgot what I, uh, so we get to Proud Mary. Oh, I I intentionally didn't drink coffee. I do this all the time. I won't drink coffee, even though I could, you know, maybe have it. I'm passing by the coffee shop, but I'll wake, make myself wait a couple hours so it really hits. Yeah. So I'm like talking. I talk with my hands a lot. Yeah. And. I think I had like, I was like yes. doing like this sort of emotion and I, the back of my hand grabs the glass. It's like this tall. It's big. It's a big fucking glass. Yeah, it's yeah. Like abnormally large. Yeah. And I, I'm seeing it tip over in slow motion and I'm like, okay, this is all happening in my head. I'm like, okay, I could probably stop this. So my other hand comes around to grab it. That was where I fucked up because I actually think it wasn't going to fall over. Uh, and then I went like this and I hit the bottom of it and the whole thing just goes <laughs> all over me. But 99.9% .9 of it was just all over my crotch. Yeah. All over my crotch, seeping under my butt crack into great. my seat. It all soaked into my ass. Yeah. And it is ice cold. I cold plunge my balls yeah. with iced coffee right then and there in the middle of this fucking restaurant. And that's why Josh is creating his line of iced coffee cold plunge, which we are promoting today. He has partnered with. That's right. <laughs> and, it comes, and it comes with a coffee boofer. Yeah. For yeah. free, by For the free. way. That's good value if yeah. you think about it. You know, For the measly cost of about $12,000, <laughs> you will get a cold plunge with coffee in it. 
<laughs> um, and um, but yeah, no, yeah. you spilled that coffee, and it was very funny. The best part. This is the best part. I'm at a table with my wife, or no, what? I don't actually don't think Kate was with us at the time. She wasn't. She was um, doing something productive, like studying for the bar. Or yeah. Something. Oh yeah, she was studying for the bar. That's yeah. true. Which she passed, by the way. Yes. Congratulations. Uh, yeah. Shout out. She's a lawyer now. Um, she's killing. Yeah. So it was you, Alina, Sam, uh, Fiona, and 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 Sam's baby. Yeah. None of you guys helped. The baby was more helpful. Yeah. So I'm and and look, oh, by the, it was just so funny. They were all laughing at, yeah. at me. Yeah. And uh, they're all like, <laughs> I'm like standing up and I'm like looking for a napkin, and they're all just sitting there like this. <laughs> yeah. Well, because now we're like, how, do, <laughs> how does Josh clean this up? Because it's funny. Yeah. And then so you. They came over and the and I think our waiter she brought over a like a stack of napkins. No, she didn't. She she walked over and she goes like this. She goes, "Oh man!" <laughs> so we all knew. We all knew it was funny. And no, and then again, nobody says anything. <laughs> no one's like, "Oh, can we get him a napkin?" Nobody says anything. I'm like sitting there. I look like I pissed and shit myself. And I finally go, "Can I get a napkin?" She brings over three. Yeah. Fucking recycled yeah 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 brown paper napkins the yeah. recycled ones the ones where like when you wipe your finger goes yeah, through it yeah. if it was a fucking toilet paper you yeah so so that and then i was like do you guys have something better like could i get like a like a washcloth yeah so she, she brings me one of the washcloths that they had already thrown out in the baskets i was like gonna say yeah it was oil. soaking wet it was it, disgusting it had like oil on it and like fucking beef fat and and, and like just chopped cilantro yeah yeah <laughs> yeah yeah and josh is just trying to He's like, fucking, nah, fucking. And then after, like, <laughs> after it kind of calms down and he's just, you know, cursing up a storm, then the waitress comes back. And she's like, did you want another? And you're like, yeah, I'll take another. And then he got another. And then when he, say it like that. Yeah, you were definitely fired up. <laughs> yeah, you were fired up. <laughs> you were pissed. But yeah, dude. Fuck. Yeah, good times. That yeah, was I, nice. It, I, went to, I went to the bathroom. I remember walking in. And I opened the door, and it has like one of those like reverse swinging doors. So I pushed, and someone else pushed. Oh, so we we're almost like, <laughs> yeah, get the fuck doing the Star Wars the Force fuck? battle. Yeah, nice. And so I was like, "There's someone on the other end of this." So I was just like, "Fuck this guy." Yeah, <laughs> you <laughs> took it as a challenge. Yeah. Wow. Knocked it open, and the guy, <laughs> the guy like looks at me like kind of surprised, like "Whoa!" And I'm like, "Ah," oh. I was like, "I'm sorry, I'm sorry, man." And he looks down at this fucking piss circle, and he goes, <laughs> and moves over so I can go through. He's like, "Damn, bro, sorry, I didn't know you pissed yourself." <laughs> I'm like fuck, man! I didn't fucking piss myself. Looking, smell it, yeah. smell it. Yeah, he's looking at the get front. down here and fucking smell it. He's like, "How did yeah. you shit in the front? <laughs> it's all brown in the front. How'd you get it to the front?" Yeah, I was wearing like whitish pants. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I should have saved those and like framed them for you. I meant to wear the boots today. Ah, yeah. Oh man, that yeah. was great. My we new have boot, so many photos of you. My new boot goofing was courtesy of Josh, folks. That's so, right. Yeah, you have to, Josh and Sam, they were so kind as to lace me up. They had me drip or drown. That was right. And I was dripping. And he was wearing basketball shorts while he was trying them out. And all the racist people in there, all the racist sort of country guys were like, that guy don't look right. Yeah, but but on. then I, everyone from the Midwest commented on that episode. And they were like, that's how that's how the boys do it. <laughs> that's how they do it. Yes, <laughs> that, they do. Is that how they sound? Yeah. That's, how, that, that's more South. Yeah. That's very. Oh, shit. Yeah, there they are. Oh, brother, I'm going to need some toilet paper. That's with 100% how good you genuine looking. ostrich right there, dude. Yep. Yeah. genuine ostrich i don't know it was from some dead animal yeah we went and killed that fucker ourselves that's like probably his throat you just stuck <laughs> both your feet in it it's probably just like his neck two neck two necks for that speaking of uh giblets i think one of the craziest things you told me is that as a kid you voluntarily purchased a whole pig for your birthday oh yeah that do you talk true. about this often People love, you know, we don't have to ham on the story. If no, 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 we can't. We can't. Yeah. I mean, it's, you know, I, w I wanted to figure out how to do whole animal butchery. At what know? age? I was 16. Wanting to know whole animal butchery at 16. That's the line, dude. Yeah. Like three years prior, that would have been a diagnosis. I should have been, honestly, because I my mom did not want to deal with like a whole pig in the house, obviously. And so I had to like go through multiple outlets. First, I would go to my mom and she was like, ah, you know, let, we'll see. We'll see. My dad went and secretly got it or whatever. So now, the hold pigs, up. Are your parents culinary people? Yeah. They cook a ton. 
Okay. They cook a ton. But even then, it was more so the logistics of the pig. Right. They didn't really question it because I'd been cooking so much. They're like, yeah, I guess that makes sense. But the thing that was funny is I had to call multiple people for different things. So first I was like, I called my uncle. I was like, hey, um, do you have a bone saw? And he's like, for what? What do you mean? And I was like, J- uh, I didn't want to tell him because I was like, if he's going to tell trouble. my mom I'm going to get yeah. the pig. Yeah. And so I'm like, I just need like a, can you just give me the fucking bone saw? Just give me the fucking bone saw. All right. Just bring it to the house at 10 p.m. tonight, and I'll leave it in my room. And so he he does it. He didn't wow. ask any questions. Wow. Brings That's the bone saw, and I put it in my room, and I hide it in my closet. And then I was like, <laughs> when he good. got there, I was like, by the way, do you have a do you have like a blood pan drip tray? Ah. Uh. Because when you break down a whole animal, like sometimes there's like a little excess blood in there, so you need like a catcher. Yeah. And I was like, do you have like a blood pan or like a drip tray or something? He had it. So he brings you the bone saw and the blood pan drip tray, no questions asked, at 10 p.m. at night. Yeah. Okay. So where do you store it? In my closet, in my okay. bedroom. Okay. Just fucking there. Honestly, I didn't even really try to hide it. Yeah. It was just kind of there. If you open my closet, you're like, oh, let me put some fresh shirts in. Yeah. It's just there. Just there. Hey, folks. want to take another quick break to thank a sponsor of today's episode, Better Help. You know, something I've been working on is my relationship with Josh. Um, I just don't know why he'd leave me alone for this ad read. I'm hurt by that. Regardless, a common misconception about relationships is that they have to be easy to be right. But sometimes the best relationships happen when both people put in the work to make them great. Therapy can be a place to work through challenges you face in all of your relationships, whether with friends, work, your significant other, or anyone else. Therapy can be a good way to gain a larger understanding of yourself. It isn't just for those who have experienced major traumas. You can learn positive coping skills, set boundaries. Uh, You can uh, empower yourself to try to be the best version of yourself. If you're thinking of starting therapy, uh, you can give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online. It's designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Become your own soulmate, whether you're looking for one or not. Visit BetterHelp.com slash TMG today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash TMG. All right, so then stage two. Stage two. Uh, I mean, if I were to, there's a bunch of stuff that happens, but the, this farmer brings the whole pig and we have to carry it in. And I realize, and at this point, it's the next day. And it's, again, it's like 8 p.m. So logistically, what the fuck do you do when you're in your house, right? Where do you store a whole... Do you know how fucking big... A, like, pigs are big. Yeah. They are big animals. Yeah. So we ended up doing a half a pig, and they cut it in half lengthwise. Okay. So it's still like the shape and size of a pig. It's just missing the other half. So you have a cross-section of a pig. <laughs> yeah. It looks crazy. Yeah. And we just... <laughs> so kinda... the pig comes... <laughs> Yeah. Right. Yep. Just that side. Yep. And then <laughs> and he walks it in, he puts it down on the counter, the guy leaves. And does he I, put it organ side down? He does. <laughs> so it it's just, just looks like it's just, just like <laughs> Yeah, it's just, exactly. It's like it's like one leg was like kind of gnarled this yeah. one direction. And I'm like, fuck, I gotta break this down right now. Cause we can't put it anywhere. We can't even refrigerate and it. And now it's eight PM. It's eight PM. So I've like never done this before. I'm like, I guess I'm gonna learn right now. And so I start. Is it on the dining table or was it like your island there was big like enough? A, it was like kind of like on the stove and on the island and on all over the place. <laughs> it was like dripping into the fa- into the, like the fucking tubes of the stove. Like blood is just like God. dripping. It's like there's like some slime like dripping off the counter. I don't even know where it's coming from. And I like I like moved it over and then its tongue fell on the ground and I was like, whoa, that's fucking bonkers. <laughs> And yeah, this is the scene. Yeah. And so I'm like, okay. My dad's like, this is gross. I'm going to leave you to this. I can't pick it up. Because you're too small? It's just like heavy, dude. Yeah. I just, it's it, dead weight is different, man. Yeah. And so I'm like trying to like muscle it over to the cutting board. Finally get it over there. I look up some YouTube videos. Shout out to YouTube. Yeah. And I start figuring out, okay, let me just break this down into pieces so I can get this fucking thing refrigerated. Hold, hold on. That's so funny. You have a fucking pig carcass on your stove and you're like, watching some fucking guy like today we're gonna learn how to and you're like come on <laughs> come on and there's no my two mom's time, gonna come home soon there's no two times speed at this point so you're like you have to hear the whole i'm like skipping around yeah. i'm like where's the fuck the part where they use yeah. the bone saw yeah and because you have to get the, the the whole point of the bone is to like start break down the bigger more awkward pieces you can't really cut around right like yeah. 
removing the shanks, you need a bone saw to do. Uh, and so I, that's like the first step in the process. So I'm like, all right, let me remove the shanks. And I'm thinking, okay, my mom's going to be soon. Let me see how fast I can get this done. Maybe if I can just get it down to a quarter size, it won't be as, she won't be as freaked out. And I start sawing. <laughs> and um, I don't know if you guys have ever bone sawed anything before, but there's not at 16. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you know all the bone dust that gets yeah, everywhere. Yeah, yeah. And it's like all over your face. Yeah, is that is that a thing? Yeah, you like, yeah, like bone dust goes everywhere, or like like basic yeah, literally bone perfume in the air. How do people get away with murder when they like cut up bodies? This is so many elements. I can tell you. Okay. No, okay. I'm kidding, <laughs> kidding, kidding. That's good. That's I mean, good. yeah. And it, what's funny is when you're saying bone saw, I for sure thought this is like a cirque saw. I'm thinking there's an engine. No, on this it. is manual. I'm like literally sawing like okay. this. Yeah, like that one. That's exactly. That's not the brand, but basically that. Okay. It looks a lot like that, and right. it has these super sharp teeth, and you just kind of saw away at it. So I'm doing that, and I get the first shank off, put that in the in like a bin, and I start doing the second shank, and I'm at this point don't care. I'm just like, I need to get this done. So I have like fucking blood and bone dust all over me. It's all over the counter. It's all over my hands. And um, my mom walks in and I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> and I have like literally bone dust, like like in a straight line across my face. Yeah. And I'm like, hey, look, we got, we got the pig. We got the pig. And then she just doesn't say anything. She's like, nice. Goes into her bedroom. Like, wow. See ya. Wow. So not not even like you didn't really get in trouble per no. se. But th was this on your birthday? I don't know if it was. I don't remember. It might have been. I thought you said you did it for your birthday. It was for. It was a. It was what I asked for for my yeah, birthday. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. That's I don't right. know that it happened exactly on my birthday. It might have been slightly before. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. So then you hacked down the pig. Hacked down did the you, pig. Did, did you do it well enough that you could cook any of it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I broke it down into like primals, which is like big pieces. I broke down the shoulder and kept it. We roasted, we froze that and roasted it for like an Easter dinner once. Uh, I broke it down into like you know big proteins. I got, I figured out how to get the um, pork loin out of there and cut that into steaks. And yeah, damn. Yeah. So good. first go around, first go around, got it. it. Yeah, it's not that hard, honestly. If you, it just takes a long time if yeah. you're your first time. That really is. So you know, if you're like a sociopath out there, yeah. Mask it as a culinary interest. That's right. And also remember that the anatomy of a pig isn't that different from a person. Is it not? Yeah, it's not. It's actually kind of similar. Oh. Did you learn that when cutting it up or did you learn that from the YouTube video? Uh, you know, I learned it at some point in time. Yeah. <laughs> you know, every chef knows yeah. this. Yeah. Every chef knows this, yeah. Can you get by in the culinary industry without ever hacking up an animal? I guess if you just work... In the guest service side. I mean, you don't have to know animal butchery to be a chef. I would say you probably should. Yeah. But not everybody wants not everybody to do that. Does, Some yeah. people are not about it. I remember my first time working at this one restaurant, and they had a whole pig. This is the first time I had ever seen it. The second, the, the reason why I wasn't so scared of it when I got to it, because I'd already seen it multiple times. I just hadn't done it before. Yeah. But I remember the first time I ever saw one, two things happened the same day. First day, they had a whole pig. And uh, the butcher's like, hey, Josh, watch this. I'm like, what? And I look over and the, he has like the whole pig. This pig is like fully put together. And he just kind of like, there's the head facing me. And I'm like, oh, cool. And it's like, like yeah, <laughs> like fucking all gnarled. I'm like yeah. kind of grossed out. And he just goes, knocks on the head and the whole head just goes <laughs> into a fucking uh, bucket. And I was like, that's a fun party trick. Yeah, yeah, that was shocking. Yeah. And then a couple hours later, they had a whole cow head because they bought a whole cow and they're like what do we do with this and they roasted the whole the cow head's fucking huge yeah and they pulled the cow head and they're like josh look at this and it's like yeah. out of the oven and then the jaw just goes and it just falls on the ground cute that was fire i can't wait till aliens do that to us <laughs> dude you got you got the you got the spaceship man yeah. you just gotta get out of here yeah they're like hey glorp check this out <laughs> yeah. just... <laughs> into a bin <laughs> your fucking nose is just like yeah <sighs> yeah slides off why 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 is it that butchered animals are always doing that i don't know dude they're kind of like yeah they're kind of sussing you out. a little swag like they're like <laughs> i'm dead uh, what's good yeah yeah I, I i i've seen some i've seen some gnarly ones yeah where they're just <laughs> it was one where like they're like look it's smiling and it's like i'm like oh oh yeah it was peaceful Mm. Yeah, it's peaceful until you look up and you see the big like steel cattle 
thing that they do through oh, their head. Oh, with the Hemi logo on it? Yeah, the yeah. one that goes like... Yeah. You know about that? Yeah. How yeah. do you know about that? Because I'm weird. I've, de- I've just looked that up. At That's some nice. point, I've come across it. He's watching those like live leak videos where it's, it's like that where or they like, use it on a person. I mean, or Twitter, you know, they're just yeah. like Twitter's crazy right now. What oh, the fuck is yeah. going on? It's I mean, the name, honestly, the name X is fitting now. Yeah. Every <laughs> time I log into, I'm like, am I logging into a porn website? What yeah. is this? It's crazy. It's it, it, it could be basically anything. is a porn website at well, this point. My son's first day at school, and then the first reply is like, check out me on my first day of school. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, like you're an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was such a slut in high school. You're like, whoa, what the hell? And then right beneath that, it's like, you know, keep the immigrants out. They're ruining our bloodline. And then the next one after that, you know. It's just, the next one after that is like someone jumping off a building head first yeah. into a pike. Yeah. And you're like, oh. Yeah. I, you know, I didn't want to see that. Yeah. I, yeah. I, you know. Have you seen the ones where they swap the clips out where it'll be like one video and then they swap it out to someone getting their head blown off to trick you into watching it? <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. You're like, they're like imposing trauma on people. For, yeah. They're like, oh, let's see if we can trick you. Look, SpongeBob, just kidding. Yeah. This cat got ripped in half. Yeah. Yeah. By it's, a person. It, and, see what, and see, it's funny because that's a grim... That's a grim piece of footage, but on paper, that f- sentence is really funny. <laughs> A cat got ripped in half by a person. <laughs> it's it's kind of kind of rolls off the tongue. Yeah, yeah. Cat got ripped in half by a person. Yeah, that could be a song, dude. I don't make music anymore. Oh, sorry. My apologies. It's okay. He's retired, guys. Yeah, I'm retired. retired. I'm out. But um, yeah. So you you know you cut up a pig. It's an interesting thing to do at 16. I mean, you're he doesn't not, know where to go from here. He's like, no, oh fuck, no, no. But people are doing weird shit with food now, though, man. On I don't know if you ever go on. Oh yeah. Yeah, we got to stop that, man. It's just, I don't like it. It's just like, you know, the whole like, I, listen, I, I'm, I'm, I've am I'm, got my fair share. I take it back. You know what? I love when someone's cooking chicken in the middle of it. They're like, <laughs> they lick their fingers and they spank it. And they put it together. Like when they put two cutlets together and they're like, salmonella. <laughs> I just hate when they like, when they like. Palm slap it. two things down like like the chicken thighs and then they just slowly spread them yeah. apart i'm just like that's yeah. fucking crazy bro yeah. like your fucking grandma's gonna eat that later well like what are you doing well what's also wild is there was an artist she tried to i forget her name but she had a whole instagram account where she was kind of trying to make a statement about what guidelines really mean and she had all this food that she made it look like porn so it was like her like you know fingering have you seen the guy who does that and that's his whole brand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the you know, buff guy? Yes. Yeah. There's two of them. Yeah. They almost look like they live in the same place. Somehow the setup is exactly it's crazy. the same. crazy. Creator house for horny uh, horny chef content. They're not fucking chefs. Their body their bodybuilders are they're 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 not chefs. Don't don't ruin don't ruin the chef's name like that. All right. That's got to be earned, and you don't you don't earn that by cream pieing a tiramisu. Yeah, okay, okay, <laughs> that just doesn't happen. This is an American pie, okay? All right, yeah, that was good. I like that. Yeah, I like that. Like it's crazy, bro. And the the best part about it is you know that they're in there for like five plus hours, being yeah. like, "Nah, that that didn't squirt right." Yeah. And then they yeah. got to go back to the store and buy more lemons. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Cedric Cedric Lorenzen. Secret Santa. I think one of these. There's the tiramisu dude that he's eating cream pie. Look, look we, at this. Uh, we did a deep dive on one of these dudes. They, oh, it's a little more. Oh, uh, yep. never mind. Yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. This is a little more normal. Oh, there you go. Every time I think it's yep. oh, okay. <laughs> that turns you on, right? Yeah, because this is a really. You, you guys want to know the best way to stir something? Just do that. Yeah, that turns you on. That'll stir right? it really good. That turns you on, right? Yeah. Yeah, amazing. Probably tastes like shit. <laughs> it actually did look pretty good. It did look pretty good. I will say his his food selling is not bad. But like, but like, what does he do all day? Uh, responded DMs. <laughs> Dude, he's just gooning all day. Yeah, he is gooning all day, man. This he's a goon master. This guy. <laughs> I just learned about this term goon? like two days ago. Yeah. Three days ago. Well, it's really funny because Arsenal fans, that's their thing. Gooners. Arsenal. Arsenal. What's yeah. that? The soccer club? The ver- <laughs> I don't 
<laughs> I'm so outside of that world. I don't know what that is. This is awesome, dude. See, if you, you, UK, if you hey, UK, li- list, all UK listeners listening right it's now. It's going to be bad. Fuck. You're not real. Okay, your sport, your global sport supposedly means nothing I just in don't America. watch soccer. Yeah. No, it's it's easy to not watch it. Even when you're t- even when it's on the TV, it's easy to not watch it. <laughs> <laughs> I just have no interest Jake. in watching this at all. Yeah, I know. It's you okay. Know? I, you know. Well, Arsenal is a very very popular club and your house will be burned down by the time you get home. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Okay, great. Are they, yeah. so wait, what is this how does this relate to fingering and tiramisu? Well, we're talking about gooning. Oh, okay. Now go on. Yeah, okay. So now I'm now so, I'm locked in. So Arsenal fans refer to themselves as gooners. So if you just type in a city, like, for example, I'm going to Omaha, Nebraska this weekend. If you type in Omaha gooners. Oh, boy. <laughs> Omaha steaks. <laughs> and there they are. No, <laughs> what? There what? they are, the Omaha gooners. Oh, yeah, they're everywhere, man. How is that possible? Look, Columbus gooners. Look them up. What what? Yep. Pub and Benson for Arsenal match. Oh oh, that's like the term that they use to like identify themselves. It is. That's like They're, their fan base. You know. Are they aware of the other usage of that terminology? Like how you refer to your YouTube subscribers as Joshy Washies. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I refer to them as. <laughs> Who invented the term gooning? And 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 really, what does it actually mean? Jarvis, can you look up gooning etymology? <laughs> You should do a know your meme. Jesus, I can't even climaxing. read this. Yeah, I'll, Full I'll read it. Mental numbness and yeah. dissociation. What the fuck is this? It's a it's a state of being. So gooning is a slang term referring to a uh, sexual practice that involves a person masturbating to pornography for prolonged periods of time without climaxing, a process known as edging, in order to achieve the goon. A so-called sensation of full mental numbness and dissociation from anything unrelated to the process. It's like meditation. You beat it to the point that you don't even know who's beating. <laughs> what beating is. I didn't even think of words. <laughs> Josh, that was a very good joke you just told. Psych. He's not here because this is the end of the main episode. But if you want the full episode, you can go to tmgstudios.tv. Full 90 minutes, balls to the wall, piping hot action with me and Josh Weissman. Uh, we get into it. We get a little nasty. He tells some more stories that he's never told before. And, uh, you know, I got a knack for extracting all the juicy deets. So, yeah, come watch me juice this carrot top in the bonus at TMGstudios.tv. Coming up on this week's extended episode. I can't have you upload that. Hey, Josh, I made your sourdough bread. It was their asshole. Boil me up. What's that mean? Yeah, what's that mean? The barbell went right through his skull, yeah, down yeah. to the top and down. And Josh, I'm a huge... Dude, I love your chicken... Oh. To watch this extended cut and more, sign up at tmgstudios.tv. 